Hey folks, Dan Ryan here. Leo Ryan over there behind the camera. Hi. Today we're going to unbox the Harley Benton CST 24HB, stands for Holly Hollow Body, in Tortoise Flame. Uh, looks nice on the tablet here. Let's see how, what it looks like when we actually take it out of the box. Some staples. Lots of paper. Very weird looking paper. I wonder how they get it to look like that. Must have a machine. More paper. Get more paper. Comes with a case, a big bag. Well, I bought a case. Oh. <laughs> it comes with a case if you buy it. And there it is. And they were environmentally friendly in that they packed the case. And use the case as part of the padding for me. Yet another box. This one's going to require our trusty cutting implement. I don't know about you, but I found find this fascinating to watch. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the ooh ah part. Let's see what she looks like. Hey, I see a problem already. Okay. First glance, the finish looks very nice on the front. It's a solid piece of wood. It's kind of the PRS design philosophy. So the back is not as pretty as the front, but not bad. It's nowhere near as handsome as this. It's prettier than my PRS is back. Okay, let's see. I'm going to tell you about the specs now. So it's got a mahogany body, AAA flame maple, a Hotoba fretboard, 24 frets, which is nice. It's got a mother of pearl uh, dots, graphite nut, which I like. Ivory binding, probably not real ivory. That, I think that would be illegal at this point, but ivoroid. It's got two Roswell LAF Alnico humbuckers. Alnico 5 humbuckers, three-way switch. Master volume, master tone. It's got a push-pull coil split there, which I'm sure that's what this little tag is telling you about. So that you don't go for your entire lifetime not knowing that you could do that. Uh, it's got chrome 
Barware, BLX is the manufacturer. Not sure what that is, it's kind of weird. That's how you adjust the B and the, uh, the uh, G string to intonate the guitar. Huh. Okay, never seen that before. Okay, so those are the basic specs of the guitar. Everything seems nice and smooth, no rough spots, uh, no bubbling on the finish at all. That I and this was a B-stock, by the way. And it was a B-stock, by the way. Uh, these F-holes look like they're bound, but they're actually painted, So, which is fine. It's kind of a gilding the lily to bind them anyway. All right, so that's the unboxing of the guitar. We're going to tune it up and see how she sounds. So uh, give us a minute. We'll be right back. Okay, we're going to play a little something with this uh, Harley Benton. And uh, this is a track I did for a James Taylor song called Don't Let Me Be Lonely Tonight uh, a few years back. So we'll see how it goes. Here we go.
bad for a less than $200 guitar. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Dan Ryan. That's Leo Ryan. And uh, we'll be going on to the next thing now. Thank you. Okay, we're back. Uh, we're going. This is uh, something of a comparison between this guitar and this Harley Benton guitar that we just unboxed and played through a little bit. This is the Epiphone ES339 P90 Pro guitar. It costs about twice as much as the Harley Benton. This I got this I think for uh, three hundred and thirty nine dollars. Um, there's a lot to be said for that additional cost. Uh, they're similar in setup, except this has four knobs instead of two knobs, and it doesn't have the coil tap. Um, this is the first guitar I've ever played that actually had P90s on it. And I kind of like them, and I kind of don't. They're, they have a very nice sound, but they um, have a little more tendency to hum than a regular Gibson humbucker. Um, they are supposedly humbuckers, but uh, not in the same way that the pickups on a 335, say, would be or Les Paul. Anyway, we're going to do the same little run through that we did for the Harley Benton. Just we're going to start with both pickups and go to the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. Um, just this is just a basic clean sound. Everything's wide open on the guitar. It's just so you can kind of hear what the guitar sounds like without too many effects or anything. <laughs> guitar sounds much darker with both pickups uh, just to start out with than the Harley Benton does. That's just a matter of taste for a lot of people but uh, I tend to like a kind of dark sound. So here's your uh, neck pickup. <laughs> pickup. Okay, so once again, that's everything wide open. Um, we don't have the coil tap for this guitar, so I won't be able to show you that. Um, so now we're going to play the same song that we played on the Harley Benton with this guitar. And you can make up your own mind about how you like it. Give us a minute, we'll be right back. Okay, this is again James Taylor's song called Don't Let Me Be Lonely Tonight. And here we go with the Epiphone. ES-339 P90 Pro.
go. Both very nice guitars. If I had to pick for myself, and I did because this is my Epiphone, uh, I'd still pick the Epiphone. But there's nothing wrong at all with the Harley Benton. And uh, if I had to play a gig with it, I wouldn't really be uh, very upset. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Dan Ryan. That's Leo Ryan behind the camera. And uh, sorry about that. And we'll see you next time. By the way, everybody. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. What he said. <laughs>